Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to look at working with chart in Microsoft Excel. Now if you have a table and you want to create a chart with this table in Microsoft Excel, the first thing you are going to do is to highlight your data, the data that you want to use um, for creating charts in Microsoft Excel. Now the second is to go to insert and under insert you are going to um, go to the chart command group and the first thing you have under chart command group is recommended chart. So you can look at recommended chart or you select any of the chart that you want. If you want um, to see more charts you click on this um, see or chart arrow and you are going to see all of the charts that you have by clicking all charts now we have line charts we have pie charts bar chart area chart stock chart it depends on the data you are working with and you can click on after highlighting your data you can click on recommended chart to see the chart that excel will recommend for you based on your data so if you select this first um, chart and click OK. Excel is going to give us our chart like this. Now before I go ahead I want you to understand what a chart is. A chart is the grammatic representation of a table or of a data. So this is a pictorial or the grammatic representation of what uh, the, of the data that we have in this table. So chart also is um, graph is referred to as chart in Microsoft Excel. So sometimes in Microsoft Excel you're going to hear graphs and charts. So graphs are referred to as charts in Microsoft Excel. Now to adjust your chart, you can give it a title by clicking, double clicking on chart title. And once you double click on chart title you can edit your chart title by giving it a name sales report so this is sales report chart now other thing you can do with your chart if you click on the chart you're going to see these three buttons the first one is chart element the second is chart style and the third is filter is chart filter so if you click on the first one which is chart element you're going to have access to all the parts of your charts if you want to um, remove grid line you can uncheck grid line as you can see grid line is no longer there now you want to remove your legend uh, this is your legend right at the bottom if you uncheck it's going to disappear and you can bring it back um, you can bring back your grid line as well if you want to add your data table that's the table um, your source data you can check to include your source data also to add your label you can add label as well now I'm going to uncheck this and also uncheck um, data label now the other aspect of your chart is you have your chart style now at the top here you also have your chart style and you have your chart element here also but these are shortcut so you can click on this and you have different style that you can work with you can decide to click this and decide to use this style or this style now here you have a um, filter you have filter right here so um, your boss can tell you that I just need the um, graph for week one so you uncheck every other every other week and check only week one click on apply and you have um, chart for only week one if you want week one and two apply and you have chart for only week one and two this is a great data analytic tool by the way so you can easily manipulate your chart um, this way so if you want just for um, bimbo and tosin so you can check bimbo tosin and you apply and you have bimbo and tosin for week one 
now had week two week three week four to bimbo and tosin apply so you have chart for only bimbo and tosin so i'm just going to select all and apply now that is a under filter that is under chart filter so you can work with these three if you move to the top here you have your chart element which is this one you have your chart style which is this and also you have your chart uh, filter now you can change the color of your chart by coming to change color and select another set of color for your chart you can also switch row and column if you click switch row and column you see that it's um, rows and column um, uh, um, switched so you see the position of um, the legend and um, the name are not uh, the same so you can switch row and column you can also select your data now this is useful in case you want to add data to this um, your chart table let me add a uh, manual to it if I had the manual and I had the manual details, I had 4,000 here, then I have uh, 5, 5, I have 7,000. Now it's not going to show in my in this um, report. Now the reason why it's not going to show in this report because this chart captures only from bimbo to grace so to include emmanuel i'm going to uh, select my chart and go back to my chart design anytime you are working on chart once you select it you have access to your chart design and you have format as well so i'm going to um, click on chart design and go to select data so selecting my data i have um, the last my, my data is this 12 right here that's row 12 i'm going to increase it to 13 so i'm going to remove the 12 and put um, 13 so that it will capture emmanuel so i'm going to click ok and you see that is manual has been captured in my chart so that is how to add um, um, additional data to your source data so your, to your chart source um, data so you can also use this to change um, your chart um, type and then you can use this to move um, charts so another thing i would like to tell you is that you can actually save your chart as template so if you click if you right click you're going to see save as template if you click save as template you can um, type sales report so that if you want to create something similar you can just uh, select um, template instead of um, instead of um, designing all, all over but do not change any of these um, don't change the uh, don't change don't save it in another folder apart from the default uh, folder so click save and after clicking save if i want to reuse um, this chart you can go to insert and you go to um, all charts and uh, to see template folder when you click template folder you have access to your sales report and um, chart as you can see it here so you can reuse this just click ok and then you're going to have it so that's how to save your chart now the last thing i want to um, discuss is if you want to have your chart created on another um, sheet so all you need to do is right click and go to insert and just select chart and click ok then you're going to have your chart um, created on a chart sheet so that'll be all for uh, working with chart and um, tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial i want you to subscribe to my channel like and comment see you in the next lesson thank you